Hey guys, so uh, I got my uh, APW5, the new power supply from Bitmain, connected to the Antminer R4, and I finally got this from the data center, uh, my warehouse, so I'm just going to plug this. We should see a power, uh, current consumption of, or, uh, you know, uh, it will. It should pull around 3.8 um, amps. And uh, this is if it's uh, not overclocked. Obviously, I overclocked mine. So we're going to see how far this is going to go. I'm expecting maybe 3.9, maximum 4. Um, so we'll see how far this thing will, will go. And how well or how efficient it runs on uh, 220 uh, versus a 110 or 120 uh, 120 um, uh, this is the older or the other power supply I had that was connected to uh, the wall uh, to uh, 120 volt so um, they do recommend Bitmain does recommend the APW5 with the Antminer uh, R4 uh, for increased efficiency how much efficiency I don't know but we'll see how how much it pulls here and we'll go upstairs and see how much what's the hashing uh, speed so it's just kicked in that fan and it's still cold it's not warm at all yeah yeah see you know 2.3 3.9 yeah kind of what I expected I hope it doesn't reach 4 uh, it shouldn't 3.8 yeah and this of course rounds up so we'll uh we'll give it a second here and uh we'll see it's restarting again it'll kick up um yeah man this thing is still quiet considerably quiet compared to the at minor s7 and s9 yeah yeah 3.9 does uh so far how it's going It is flashing as if there's a fault, a fault, but what I've noticed is that it does that in the very beginning as it loads the program. And uh, there's really no issues. It'll just turn off in a second or two here. But it seems like it's pretty stable. 3.9 amps at uh, 650 uh, frequency. I'm just checking the heat. It's, yeah, just as before. It's pretty quiet. So, uh, yeah, we'll go upstairs, guys, and we'll see uh, what is the hashing speed right now. Um, yeah, uh, using 220 um, definitely dropped, uh, reduced my power consumption, uh, my, my current consumption or pull from the panel a lot. So, yeah, I highly recommend running your miners on 220. We'll go upstairs now. All right. Hey guys, so I'm back up here and this is the uh, Miner R4. Uh, first thing is I uh, basically refreshed. Uh, I don't see a huge difference. Uh, it was 9.2 most of the time, now it's fluctuating between that and 9.3 terahashes per second. Uh, and remember, frequency is 650 and what we saw is 3.9 so 3.9 times 220 we're slightly a little bit higher than 845 so it's the power consumption is not that high which is great uh, for the amount of um, basically uh, hashing power we're getting an increase from 8.6 to 9.3 uh, for a very minor increase in power consumption uh, again the chip temperature is not uh, is, is is not that high um, the fan is running a little bit higher speed at 220 um, I I think that's what mainly you'll be seeing it's just that um, it, your, your 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 hashing speed is just a little bit more stable at a higher speeds um, usually this was 9.2 I believe um, yeah 
the average I don't really look at it, it's just uh, it, 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 it takes time to change around 10 minutes but you see from here this is 9.3 most of the time eventually it will be 9.3 here uh, later on but yeah it's it's interesting I think it's pretty cool when, uh, when if you guys recall it was flashing fault in the very beginning what happens I noticed here in the hardware version in the very beginning when it's booting up it says lost connection and that's all it is it sees that uh, as a fault but it's not necessarily something's wrong with the miner uh, that's all it is it's just uh, it's still connecting and booting up uh, anyway uh, that's uh, basically the uh, power supply it's pretty simple straightforward there is no on off button you just plug and play just like the older power supply except you can plug two and minor R4s now so yeah um, definitely an interesting power supply specially designed for the R4 alright guys I'll leave you uh, here and uh, you have a good night